You know, we've seen people at beaches, we've seen people out on trails clustered together, we've seen people out at large parties together. Do you think it's a, just a question of people not getting the message? Because you're talking a lot about messaging today. I think people need to get the message that this isn't just about them. This is about their neighbors. This is about vulnerable seniors. This is about uh, health workers who are on the front lines trying to keep us all safe. Uh, Canadians can and must do their part to keep us all safe. Uh, when we see images of people out uh, enjoying the sunshine in large groups, uh, that is extremely concerning because they are not just putting themselves at risk, they are putting everyone else at risk. We need to slow and stop the spread of this virus if we are going to come through this uh, strongly as a country uh, without losing too many of our loved ones. Uh, every single Canadian has a responsibility uh, to engage in keeping their distance, in staying home, whatever possible, and ensuring that those who have to go out for essential services uh, and to keep, uh, keep us healthy and alive and fed uh, are not at risk themselves. Are you, uh, are you mad that to a certain extent to see Canadians uh, uh, reacting like this? It is frustrating for many Canadians to sit at home and see others are not following uh, the protocols or directives. And it is frustrating for many people who see that some people don't follow. It's frustrating for a lot of people who are listening to medical advice and staying home for their safety to watch other people out there putting not just themselves at risk, but everyone who is staying home at risk as well. Merci beaucoup. On va maintenant passer à la, euh, aux questions par téléphone. Modérateur, c'est à vous. Thank you, merci. The first question is from Brian Lilly of the Toronto Sun. La première question est de Brian Lilly du Toronto Sun. La parole est à vous. Please go ahead, sir. Your line is open. Prime Minister, I'm wondering if you can tell us, you, you keep being asked about the Emergencies Act and, and you seem hesitant. Why are you hesitant and, and what extra powers would the Emergencies Act or Quarantine Act give you that you currently don't have? Um, the Quarantine Act is already in place and it gives us significant tools. One of the key elements of the Emergencies Act is that it is an override over the provinces. It takes powers that are uh, normally only in the hands of provinces or even municipalities and puts them at the federal level. Uh, that's why we've been working closely and coordinating, watching closely as provinces have invoked their Emergencies Act, uh, which has been uh, an important step in, in fighting this, uh, the spread of this virus. Uh, it's also why we will certainly be talking about the emergency, Federal Emergency Act uh, at the Premier's meeting this evening uh, to make sure that we all understand what tools each different order of government has and where we might need to do more. 